Lesson 16 homework. Number one, divide. Draw a place value disc to show your thinking for A and C. You may draw discs on your personal whiteboard to solve the others if necessary. A, 300 divided by 10. So for this one, we need to draw place value discs. So I'm gonna divide 300 up into three groups of 100. So I'll draw three 100 place value discs. And then we wanna divide by 10. So I'm gonna divide each of those by 10. And 100 divided by 10 is 10 and 10 and 10. So my answer is 30. Because if I add these three tens together, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. So 300 divided by 10 is 30. B, 45 divided by 10. We don't have to use place value disk for this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cancel out these zeros. So I have 45 divided by one is equal to 45. For C, we need to use place value disks. So I'm gonna break 18,000 up into uh, 10,000. And then I have 8,000 left, so I'm gonna do eight groups of 1,000. And then we're dividing by 100. So if I divide all of those by 100, 10,000 divided by 100 is 100. And 1,000 divided by 100 is 10. So I'll have eight groups of 10. And if I add all that up, I'll have 100 plus 80. So my answer is 180. 730,000 divided by 100. So again, I'm gonna, 100 has two zeros. So I'm gonna cancel out two zeros. So what I really have is 7,300 divided by one, which is 7,300. E, 900,000 divided by 1,000. So 1,000 has three zeros. So I'll get rid of those three zeros, which turns it into 900 divided by one is equal to 900. 680,000 divided by 1,000. Cancel out the zeros. 680 divided by 1 equals 680. Number 2, divide. The first one's done for you. So let's go on to B. 18,000 divided by 200. So we have 18,000 divided by, we're going to break 200 up into 100 divided by two, because 100 times two is 200, but we're now dividing. So we're gonna break it into 100 divided by two. So let's start with 18,000 divided by 100. I'll cancel out my zeros. So we have 180 divided by one, which is 180, divided by two, and 180 divided by two is 90. C, 18,000 divided by 2,000. So I'll do 18,000 divided by 1,000 divided by two. 18,000 divided by 1,000 is 18, but we still need to divide by two, so that is equal to nine. D, 420,000 divided by 60. So 420,000 divided by 10 divided by 6, and that leaves a 420,000 divided by 10 would give us 42,000 divided by 6, and 42,000 divided by 6, well 42 divided by 6 is 7, with three zeros is equal to 7,000. E, 420,000 divided by 600. I'll break it into 420,000 divided by 100 divided by 6, and then 420,000 divided by 100 would give us 4,200 divided by 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7 with two zeros, 700. And F, 
420,000 divided by 6,000. So 420,000 divided by 1,000 divided by 6. 420,000 divided by 1,000 is 420 divided by 6. 402 divided by 6 is 7 with a 0. That's equal to 70. G, 24,000 divided by 30 equals 24,000 divided by 10 divided by 3. 24,000 divided by 10 is 2,400. And then we need to divide by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8 with two zeros is 800. 560,000 divided by 700. That would be 560,000 divided by 100 divided by 7. 560,000 divided by 100 is 5,600 divided by 7. 56 divided by 7 is 8. With the two zeros we have left over, 800. And I, 450,000 divided by 9,000 would be 450,000 divided by 1,000 divided by 9. 450,000 divided by 1,000 is 450 divided by 9. 45 divided by 9 is 5 with this leftover 0 makes it 50. Number 3, a stadium holds 50,000 people. The stadium is divided into 250 different seating sections. How many seats are in each section? So the whole stadium has 50,000 people. It's divided into 250 different seating sections. So we're going to do 50,000 divided by 250. And I'll break this down into 50,000 divided by, let's see, 250. I could break into 25 times 10. So I'll do divided by 10, divided by 25. And 50,000 divided by 10 is equal to 5,000 divided by 25. And 5,000 divided by 25, let's see, we can do 50 divided by 25. 50 divided by 25 is 2, and then we have two extra zeros, so it would be 200. So there will be 200 seats in each section. Number four, over the course of a year, a tractor trailer commutes 160,000 miles across America. Assuming a trucker changes his tires every 40,000 miles, and then he starts with a brand new set of tires, how many tires, how many sets of tires will he use in a year? So 160,000 total a year, and he changes every 40,000 miles. We need to see how many times he would have to change. So 160,000 divided by 40,000 would be 160,000 divided by 10,000 divided by 4. 160,000 divided by 10,000 is just 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So he needs to get four sets of tires. B, the trucker if the trucker changes oil every 10,000 miles and he starts the year with a fresh oil change, how many times will he change oil in a year? So again, he's traveling, we have to go back to part A, the original question, 160,000 miles, changes the oil every 10,000 miles. So 160,000 divided by 10,000 would be 16. So he needs 16 oil changes.